Tulsa, Oklahoma. That is the latest city in the United States coming to terms with a deadly mass shooting. Four people were killed after a gunman opened fire inside a medical building yesterday. Now, police uh, gave us an update on their investigation, and they emphasized that police are trained for just such an attack. Law enforcement across the nation is dealing with increased violence among people. This is yet another act of violence upon an American city. I will say that as a Tulsa police officer, we train, we train, and we train. And we train for instances such as this. And I'm overwhelmed and proud of the men and women, all those that responded yesterday. CBC's back to Gabriel Selassie is tracking this story. She joins me live from the streets of Washington. Some incredible uh, facts coming out of there in terms of, you know, the weapons that were used, when they were bought, how this unfolded. Walk me through some of the details, Makta. Yeah, well, the, the main point of what we heard from police today was that this was an intentional shooting, that this was a former patient out to get a former doctor uh, because of a surgery where that took place a few weeks ago and, and uh, ongoing pain that this former patient has. That's what we heard from police. We also uh, heard the identities of the victims, the identities of the shooters, and some uh, important details. So let me go through the victims. There were four people uh, that were shot and killed. Dr. Preston Phillips, Dr. Stephanie Hussein, Amanda Green, who was a receptionist, and William Love, who was a patient. As for the shooter, police say he was Michael Lewis. And what we heard from the authorities today is that Michael Lewis had back surgery and that uh, Dr. Phillips was the one to do that surgery back on May 19th. And over the last few days that uh, Lewis continued to have pain, continued to call in, wanted to see uh, Dr. Phillips about that pain. And then yesterday, Afternoon around 2 o'clock, police say Lewis went out and bought an AR-15, a semi-automatic rifle. They also say a few days before that he had purchased a pistol. And then yesterday afternoon, uh, he showed up at this hospital uh, building. Police say looking to uh, target Dr. Phillips and anyone else who may have tried to intervene. So take a listen to what the police chief had to say. We have also found a letter on the suspect, which made it clear that he came in with the intent to kill Dr. Phillips and anyone who got in his way. He blamed Dr. Phillips for the ongoing pain following the surgery. Now that letter, of course, was found after police uh, went into that building. They heard shots as they were going in, they said, and uh, they heard one final shot after announcing themselves, and they say that is when they believe uh, Lewis turned the gun on himself. And when police went in, they found Lewis. They also found uh, several of those victims. And as you heard there, police say they found that letter, which uh, indicated to them what the motive was in this shooting. And Makta, what more information are we learning about those victims you named? Yeah, so as we heard, two of them were doctors, uh, Phillips and Dr. Hussein. They were two doctors, and then the receptionist was Amanda Love. And we heard from some of the hospital officials there about how much they gave to uh, their community and how much they gave to, uh, to patients. And we also heard hospital officials talk about William Love. He was that patient uh, that was also killed in this shooting. Take a listen to what uh, this hospital official uh, had to say. We so wanted to be able to utilize our skills and training to save these precious lives. To the family of Mr. Love, I'm so sorry we couldn't save you. We are grieving with you. When I woke this morning, I really just wanted this to all be a bad dream, but this is the reality of our world right now. Uh, and today our world and our St. Francis family are devastated. Um, after what we've learned is, uh, aside from the, the four victims that were shot in this, uh, in this shooting and then uh, the shooter himself, there were no other people that were injured in the shooting according to police. Uh, again, we heard from police this information is fluid, but we got a pretty clear timeline of how things went down yesterday.
We'll talk again. That is CBC's Magda Gabriel Selassie in Washington.